Sam. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, this is Rio, who's a student from Stanford. Hello, Rio. my name is Rio. If it would be okay if you would sit in on our eval. Yeah, of course. Okay. Thank you. Um, so it looks like you have purple tunnel in your right hand? Yes. Great. You want to tell me a little bit about um, how your pain is and how you're feeling? Um, pain level is around a five. I have some numbness and tingling, some burning sensation sometimes when I'm using it. Okay. Like maybe um, picking up groceries or when I'm typing at my desk at work. Okay. So groceries and typing? Yeah. Um, so you said it's a pain level five. Is that at rest or with use? Um, around four at rest and around maybe at highest seven when I'm using it. Okay. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is um, we're just going to get some measurements um, in a little bit and see how you're doing. Okay. Um, so what are some of your goals with therapy? Um, probably be able to return back to work with no pain level when I'm typing because I'm a receptionist. Okay. And maybe be able to cook again without the pain. It's hard for me to open up jars sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So and so gardening I'm as well. Some of your daily demands are typing. Yep, typing, picking up the phone, and writing. Since it's my right hand and I'm right-handed, it affects my writing as well. Okay. Um, how was your prior level of functioning? Good. I had no problem. Mm -hmm. um, and what about your past medical history? Um, nothing. Nothing serious? No surgeries? Or? No. Well, let me go ahead and take a look at your hand. All right. So it looks good. I just see a little bit of mild swelling. Okay. It's kind of numb right now. Okay, Christina, so I'm going to take some measurements to see how your range of motion is with your right and left hand. Okay. Um, so um, go ahead and put your hand straight up and bend it as far down as you can. Okay, so 0 to 40 for right wrist flexion. Okay, 0 to 40. Mm -hmm. And then put your hand straight and kink it as far back as you can go for me. Um, zero to fifty-five. For extension, okay. And then go ahead and put your hand straight. Okay, and turn towards your thumb as far as you can. And this is radial. Radial deviation. Yes. Radial deviation. Okay. okay, so that's zero to fifteen. Zero to and now turn towards your pinky. And that's 0 to 28. That's owner deviation. Yes. 0 to 28. 28. By the way, Dr. Um, Whitney, what is what is this tool? Um, this is called a gone goniometer. We use this to measure um, range of motion such as flexion and extension um, and ulnar and radial deviation. Okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. Um, so now I'm going to see your left hand and compare it. Um, so start straight up and bend it as far down as you can for me. So as you can see, her left hand has a lot better um, turn radius. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she has better flexion. Um, so since she's right-handed, that should actually be better. But because she has carpal tunnel, it's showing um, up a little worse. All right, so now let's get your grip strength. So Dr. Whitney, what's the name of this tool? This is a dynamometer. Um, so this is going to test her total gross grip strength. I see. Okay, so let's do your right hand first. So I'm going to have you just do a quick squeeze as tight as you can. Okay. Okay. All right, and look up. All right, I'm going to have you do that two more times. Is that pretty painful for you? Yes. Okay. Ready? Go. Okay, and release. And one more. Okay. Um, so 23, 23, 20. Okay, and now let's test your left hand. Um, this is going to be the right grip strength. 23. 23, 20. 
All right, so same thing, three quick little squeezes. Okay, and we go again. Okay, and one more. Okay, so 60, 60, 55 for the left grip string. Okay, perfect. So um, since you're right-handed, your right hand um, should be a little stronger. Um, but since you're having carpal tunnel, um, you're not quite as strong as you once were. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to use a pinch meter. Um, so um, the first one I'm going to have you do is the key pinch. So you're going to pinch down with your thumb like you're going to turn a key. Okay. So we'll do three quick ones. All right. One go. And again. Okay. One more. Um, so 15, 11, 11. All right, now your left hand. Ready, set, go. 16, 16, 17. Um, so now I'm going to have you pinch with the two hands. Okay. This is called the Palmer pinch. And again. All right, one more. Okay, 12, 12, 13. And now this one. Fourteen, fourteen, fourteen. Okay, and now we're gonna do the tip pinch. Okay, again. One more. This one's more painful. Oh, it's that's more painful, painful for yeah. you. I see. Okay. Because you have a carpal tunnel. <laughs> okay, so nine, hmm? um, thirteen, and fourteen. Okay, so we're all done with the measurements. Um, so what else is difficult for you? You said you're um, cooking. Um, are you having any trouble sleeping? Uh, mild. Sometimes it wakes me up if I happen to sleep on it, because I happen to sleep on my right hand sometimes, okay. which is bad, I know. Yeah, but okay, well hopefully so we can show you sometimes. some different ways. Um, would you mind coming around and showing me how you sit um, in your chair at work? Yeah, sure. Okay. Posture. Well, that's something we're definitely going to need to work on. <laughs> okay, Christina, so next we're going to do ultrasound on you. Okay. Um, so, Rio, we're going to put this at 3 megahertz. Alright, so we're going to do this primarily on her wrist. Okay. Um, and also her fingers, since they're a little numb as well. How do you feel, Miss Christina? It's cold. It's cold. Yeah, but it's like a nice little massage, too. I see. So, Christina, did Dr. Emus explain to you at all what was going on with your hand? Um, a little bit, not too much. Okay, well, I just wanted to show you with this diagram. Um, so, your medial nerve is going to come right through here. Um, and it's going to come through the flexor reticulum. Okay. And um, so this is being compressed and it's um, injuring your nerve. So what we're going to try to do is open up the space here a little more with some stretches. Okay. Um, so this is called the web. And we're going to have you try this next. Actually, we're going to have you do the web. Um, so Rio, you're going to show her, you're going to press into it. Mm -hmm. Um, and hold it for about 10 seconds. Okay, so you can change your angle of your hand, um, but I just want her to be stretching out that. So this is an exercise for the wrist? Um, yeah, an exercise and a stretch. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Have you turned sideways? Um, so you're going to be sitting like this, facing the wall. Okay. Um, so turn your whole body in your chair. Perfect. What's this? Um, so this is an H wave. It's a type of electrical stem. Um, it's going to be relieving her pain. I see. So it'll kind of feel like pins and needles just the next time. Ooh. <laughs> do, you, do you feel it? Yes, this, yes, Christina? that's good. That's good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we're going to leave you on here for 15 minutes. Um, so you're going to put it where she's swollen. So she's swollen right here in her wrist. So, um, so go ahead and lift your hand up. And then we're going to gently wrap it around.
after like a surgery a lot of times um we'll actually use the um the wax or a hot pack just to kind of help with their range of motion and loosening them up one of the home exercise programs i'm gonna have you do um is just kind of stretching like we were with the web okay um so you can just hold your arm up against the wall and pull it down until it feels pretty tight okay and hold it there for about 10 seconds okay how does that feel it feels good feels good yeah okay and then after 10 seconds i'm going to have you turn to the other side and just go down and hold it for another 10 seconds okay all right so you can do each of these um about four or five times um in the morning and then it's at night okay 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 sounds um, good and um, did you want to work on your um, sleeping positioning real quick? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, how should my arm be? Show me how you are at first, and we'll try and work them out. Sometimes I find myself waking up with my head on my palm. Okay. And then that's pretty painful, but... Okay. Um, so, I'm going to reposition you a little bit. Okay. Is this how you sleep? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do... Um, is actually pull your arm out a little bit more. Okay. Um, so I'm, I want your arm to be actually compressing the nerve more, so it's going to be causing you more pain. Okay. Um, and just kind of relax a little more. Okay. All right. How does that feel? Better. Is there anything that I could put on my wrist? Um, yes. I can get you a compression sleeve. Okay. Um, and that should help with a little bit of the swelling and the pain. Okay. <laughs> How does that feel? It feels nice. All right. Okay, thank you. All right, Christina. Wonderful meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thank right, you for everything. I'll see you next Tuesday. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.